What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video with the Rainy Family. If you're new here, I'm Deshaun. And I'm Karen. And normally we have our baby with us and her name is Seven, but unfortunately she's asleep right now. You know what I'm saying? But guys, we are back with another video. Today is day six of Vlogmas. You know what I'm saying? Still going I'm strong. Excited. How do you feel about it? I feel good. It is exhausting. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. Vlogging every single day and editing the video every single day, it is exhausting, but Look, the grind don't stop. You gotta keep it going. Hey, we did it last year. How long did we go? I think we went to, we got to uh, number eight. Oh, well, we definitely gonna pass that up this year. We definitely gonna do. We're gonna do the whole 25. We're gonna do the whole 25. We're gonna do the whole 25 days. Alright, guys, so go ahead and do us a favor and leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button, help us get to a thousand subscribers because that's our goal that we're trying to hit before 2021. We're trying to get our channel monetized, so if you could do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, man, we will truly appreciate it. Also, do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on all our future videos. Yeah, because y'all aren't going to miss any of these bangers that we're going to be dropping. So, so what are we doing today? So, guys, we got a we got a mukbang for you guys. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, we got the food already laid out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even I ain't even gonna cap. We already did a little we already did a little taste test and everything, but I don't know how many of y'all is sushi eaters out there, but we got us some sushi right here. What's we, this stuff on the top? I think that is calamari. No, not calamari. I not I said calamari. Those are uh what do you call that? What do you call fish eggs? I forgot what they call that. Caviar. Caviar. That's caviar. You gotta say it. In a uh, more sophisticated way, it's caviar. Why do your hand have to do that thing? Because you know what I'm saying you gotta, you can't just be like, oh, that's caviar right there. Why you, not? You just did it. You no, but I'm saying it don't sound right. You know what I'm saying? Like when you say caviar, you gotta be more sophisticated with it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not just eating on no regular daily stuff. You caviar. Why you gotta breathe at the end like that? Yep. Look, it's all included. Look, that's all part of the vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we got some sushi right here. We this one is called like Girl on the Beach or something. That's like their own name they gave it. And this one right here, we got uh, avocado and salmon roll. Then we also got some shrimp fried rice. Mm -hmm. And we got some crab and cheese. Wontons. Wontons. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, we about to dive in. You know yep. what I'm saying? We've been waiting all day to eat because we've been so busy today, so we really didn't get to get a chance to eat like that. All so right. yeah, guys, let's let's just, let's start eating. That's I'm I'm I got a spoon. You got your fork. I know it's better to eat with a spoon. Yo, how many of y'all out there prefer to eat with a spoon over a fork? I mean, I understand, of course, if you eat like something like steak or chicken or what, you know, baked chicken or whatever, you might you gonna want to use a fork. But if you eat rice, mac and cheese, and you know, like like say you eat Thanksgiving dinner, I'm gonna need me a spoon because I need to scoop all that stuff up. I'm not sitting here about to sit here and play with no fork and you know what I'm saying be missing everything on my plate. The funny thing about your spoons is that you have like the serving size spoon as mm -hmm. your regular eating spoon. It's pretty sick. Mm. Uh, just a man that ain't playing no games. You know feel? the you know the, the spoon that you use to like share out your food onto is that the is that the term? Share out? 
Well, I mean, you 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 Jamaican, and that's that you grew up in a Jamaican household, so that's what y'all use. How do you say it again? Dish out. No, oh, we, make me a we plate. You just say make me a plate. <laughs> that's what we said. That's how we said. Just make me a plate. <laughs> don't say share out share, share out no food. Like make me a plate. You feel me? Can you make me a plate, Mama? You gonna make my plate, baby? You gonna make my plate? Nope. I'm going to make my plate. I'll make your plate too. Stop saying make my plate. That's just how I go. You feel me? I'm sure they know what I'm talking about. That's crazy. What kind of sauce is this? You say the sauce? Yeah, that's the one that you eat with the wontons. It's no, really I, good. I know that, but... Yeah, it's really good. It's watery. It's really good, though. Is it like a honey base or something? Why don't you eat it? I don't know. I can't ask you no questions. You told me if it's honey based. I don't know if it's honey based. Well, actually, have you tasted it? Do you I taste have like tasted some it. honey in there? It's sweet. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah. Is it honey based? I don't think so. I don't know. You could have said that from the start. I don't think so. You want to take me through this whole loop de loop. You got an attitude? I'm good. Okay. Are you going to eat this raw fish one? Hell yeah, I'm about to eat that. What you mean? Yeah, how many of y'all like sushi out there? And if you do like sushi, do you like sushi? Do you like raw sushi? Like with the raw fish on it and everything. I don't think I'm that type of a sushi person. I'm, I'm I think you was the one who originally put me on the sushi, wasn't you? Or did we both try start trying it? I think we both time? just started trying it and we just kind of liked the places that we was going to. Mm -hmm. oh, this is uncomfortable. Right. Let's see, look at that right there. I think this is what kind of raw fish is that? You think that, I think that's like tuna, huh? Yeah, that's tuna and the other one's salmon. Mm -hmm. It's good? That is fire. Let me have the sauce, please. Fire. Oh, did you try this weird looking sauce? Mmm. Super fire. Here's that one? No, yeah. is it spicy? No, this is spicy and it's lemony and tangy. Maybe that goes with the salmon. But this one is more of a. That came in here. Ooh. This came in here? Mm hmm. That don't seem like nothing you'll pour on top of fried rice. Or that we know of. They also gave us some little vegetables. They gave us a cucumber. You ate one of the cucumbers? Yeah, it's over here. Oh, okay. They gave us a cucumber. They gave us a tomato. And they gave us a, a, a slice of an orange. It's really tangy. And it's pepper. It <sighs> tastes good, but this tastes like something that are going like on some Mexican food. Is that a whole lot of like cilantro on the top? That's what it looked like. I don't know. Yeah, that's a, it definitely. It's spicy. It tastes good. It has a, it has a great taste to it, I but know. it tastes like something that'll go on Mexican. It actually food. does I, taste good with the rice. I taste it a little bit with the rice. It tastes good, but too spicy for too you. Too spicy for me. Yeah. Let me pull up some of this, some of this wasabi, and some of this ginger. I never understood the ginger. Well, you never understood it. That ginger gave it a nice taste. That gin you're not a real sushi eater if you ain't messing with the ginger and the wasabi. You gotta, you gotta expand your mind. I should have asked for extra eggs inside the rice. Oh, what's going on? I just love the eggs and not in the rice. Save me some of ginger so I can put some in some tea in the morning. Uh oh. You know what? That should be enough. Alright. I still have to keep my um, chopsticks together. Because 
You know what? I can break mine. Oh, you trying to be bold today, huh? No. Occasionally, I break it. The only reason why I'm going to break it is because I know I have a fork for, for backup anyway. Let's take that wasabi up in that eel sauce. Stir that Ooh. up. You want some of this one? Um, here we go. Um, oh no. Huh? <laughs> what? This is what ends up happening. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You, you look, you gotta know what you're doing when you break these chopsticks apart. You quit acting like you invented chopsticks. I didn't. I'm not acting like I invented chopsticks, but you know what I'm saying. You just you're acting doing, like you just. The you're dealing with somebody who know what they're doing with the chopsticks. You don't even know what you're doing with the chopsticks. I know what I'm doing with the chopsticks. What you mean? What if I'm holding it too far apart, like too? You see how easy? No, it wasn't for you. Shut up. You see? How, look, I ain't dropped it. My whole thing didn't fall. <laughs> Mm. Got some of that wasabi in there. I'm full. That ginger. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look, if you don't eat sushi, you don't know what you're missing. You gotta give stuff a chance in life. Cause believe me, I was I was just like you. You know what I'm saying? I was just like you. I'm like, sushi, yeah, I don't want no raw, no raw fish and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta you gotta elevate in life and you gotta allow your mind to expand. Just give stuff a chance, you know what I'm saying? Try it. Savor the taste. You know what I'm saying now? Just give it a shot. If you didn't like that one, try another one. If you didn't like that, don't like that one, try another one. Do you remember the first sushi sp uh, spot that you ate at? Hmm. Damn, I don't. Cause we just that wasn't our first time starting like eating sushi when we was in commerce, huh? When did we go to that place by, um, by in, uh, Culver City? In Culver City? Yeah, was that, like, the first, first spot, or? What spot in Culver City are you talking about? By the mall. By the Foxwoods Mall. But it's behind it. It's going to hold another parking lot. And they have a sushi spot over there? Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Well, yeah, Commerce was the first like spot we used to go to. Yeah, they they, they sushi was hit. All right, I'm kind of full. You've been full. Yes. Mm. Wanna um? I'm still going. What's up? I was gonna. Oh, well, never mind. I was gonna say wanna play head games, but you said you're still going. Yeah, we can play. Okay. Just set it up really well. Who going first? Um, you can go first. So you about to play headbands? I don't know who all familiar with headbands. You know, but it is a very popular game, so a lot of y'all should be familiar with it. If you don't know what it is, basically you just hold like your phone up to your head. And it had a word on it. The other person have to explain what it is, what the word is, without actually saying the word. And they trying to help you try to figure out what that word is. So. So. Yeah, you know. Yeah, here. I'll, and therefore, you can still. Uh, when you're hanging by a rope upside down from hanking or hanging 
When you are hanging by a rope mm -hmm. and you jump off of a bridge. Bungee jump. Yes. You have this big old um, sheet in front of you that has words and you can read it to catch up on things. A sheet? Yeah. A uh, newspaper? Yeah. TSA is? Uh, airport? Uh, security? Yes. Abracadabra. Who says something like that? Or what are they doing when you say uh, abracadabra? Uh, a, a musician? Magi Why, well, a genie? No. Uh, um, what are they doing when they say Magic. Yes. <laughs> okay, so... So basically, y'all get you know y'all y'all get how the game go. If you didn't know how the game go, but we didn't get to that last one. Yeah, we didn't get to that last one. But I got bungee jump right. Oh, it's reading a newspaper. I just said newspaper. Yeah. Airport security. Ma oh, and I just said magic, but it was actually magic yeah. trick. Yeah. I'm you like, know, so, what are they doing when they say African? Right. So some people be like, some people feel like you gotta say the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? But some people feel like. If you say one word out of, you know, like if it's if it's two words and they just say one of the words, they probably feel like you got it right. I'm not that technical. <laughs> yeah, that's good if you deal with somebody that's technical. So I got four right um, out of, I guess, five. But that's basically how the game goes, so it's your turn. It's just really hard playing with Deshaun because he takes forever to explain stuff, so... Let's hope that I get five, four right, right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on, what topic is it on? Acting out. Okay. Which your mouth full? It's a, it's a mountain and it explodes. A volcano. Yep. Uh, our next door neighbor, he be outside doing it all the time. Skateboarding. Mm hmm Um, you throw, ooh, I almost said it. You use these objects and you gotta throw it at the board. Dang it. Uh, I don't know what that's called. And they have a set down. Yeah, a target? Yeah, they have a target in the middle or, and you gotta th try to throw it at the board. I don't know the name you know, of it. Even, even still, I, don't I said throw. I said throw, but it was throw wing. Okay, go. Okay. Mm. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. Um, when you want to see something far away, binoculars. You, yep. Um. Oh, what? What is it when somebody else is on the side and you on the side? Y'all going up and down? Seesaw. Yep. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I take long to explain stuff. Yeah, you do. He gotta be like, uh, okay, so. But I done got her more points than she got me, so. Cause I'm smart. Okay, that's cause I know how to explain stuff. Oh, throwing darts. Mm -hmm. Is that what the whole thing is called? That's what the game and the board and all of that is actually called? No, I think called? it's just called darts, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's actually called, but that's mm -hmm. what it is, throwing darts. You just throwing darts at the board. Interesting. I didn't know the name of that. All right, here we go. When you're hopping on, oops. <laughs> you put chalk on the floor and you go through them. Hopscotch. Yeah. <laughs> when you throw little pebbles over water. Uh, water skipping, squat, skip, rock skipping. You got skipping right. Skipping rock, skipping. No. What's a different kind of a rock? Skipping pebbles, pebble skipping. Not a pebble. <laughs> uh, skip. Skippity skip, 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 skip. I'm gonna skip. You got a rock. You use a racket and hit a little green ball. Oh, uh, tennis. Yes. If you're gonna leave out the house, you have to put clothes on. So what are you doing? Getting dressed. Yes. Uh, dogs have them, cats have them. The tail? Yes. Oh, you seek really fast into... Okay, well, that's, that's that. <laughs> what was that last one? Uh, quicksand. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have got that. 
Yeah. Was, as soon as you say you sink and all that stuff, I started thinking about water. Oh, yeah. I was going to say you sink really fast into some brown powdery stuff. You don't sink fast and quick. Thing. You sink slow. Oh, down, you're but... right. You're absolutely right. Okay. So this one was four. I don't remember what mine was. How many I got right? Um, you gotta take it with numbers on it, and you just hit the big one. Lottery. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What what am I doing when Painting, I want to put this on a wall? Hanging, hammering, nailing. What is this? A uh, frame, picture frame. So what am I doing? Hanging up a picture. Yeah. Um. We don't have really have well. It's one on the stove, and you use to tell time. What is that called? A clock. Yes. Oh, somebody call you, and that the uh, and you was the person that they intended on calling. They have. The voice they have the. Oh, sorry. I did. Oh, sorry. It's the wrong number. Mhm. Mm um. Uh. What's damn. I could I couldn't get her name out. It was the last one was Wrecking Ball. I was gonna use uh <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. That's the look. It's the only person I could think of when it comes to Wrecking Ball. I still only get four with you. Well, you get more than what I get when you explain. Which means I can explain better than you. That's not true. Come on. If someone was gonna sleep here, I would have to do what? What is this? If someone's gonna sleep here, and it turns into a bed, what is this? A futon. No. Couch bed. Blow up bed. The couch is a blow up bed. A pallet. I don't know. I'm just naming Next. stuff. If this little bright things went out, what are you doing? If they went out. Yeah. If they went out, what are you gonna do with it? Change the change the light bulb. Yes. If you need glasses, but you don't want to wear glasses, you're going to... Contact. Yes. If you tell a lie and your nose come from here to there, what are you? Pinocchio. Yes. It's a sport that you like. Football. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. What the hell was that? <laughs> Damn. Because the word was scootering. <laughs> oh, you are out of here. Do you scootering? Explain scootering. <laughs> well. Well. How many, so who won? I don't think. I think you. I think. I think, I think. I think you won because I was explaining stuff better than you was, and I you was getting all the points. <laughs> You wish. Look, that made it sound all messed up. It like, really did. It really did. <laughs> you won because I was explaining stuff better than you. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, well, damn, I kind of don't want to win now. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all about the mm. team. Alright, guys. That is the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? We ate some sushi today with y'all. We had some uh, shrimp fried rice today with y'all. We had some, what is these? Wontons with this, what is this? Cheese and crab. Ch cheese and crab wontons with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let us know how y'all enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? We, we enjoyed the food. We hope y'all enjoyed, I guess, us <laughs> watching us eat the food. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on our future videos. Yeah, and if you would like a post notification shout out in any of our videos, you got to do all that stuff and then just comment when done. And so, speaking of post notification shout out, we got to give a shout out to, I'm going to shout out the last person who was the, who commented on our, our last video. Shout out to Genesis Cardina. We appreciate you and 
you are on post notification shout out winner for the day. Just like I said, if you want also want a post notification shout out, just do all that stuff and comment when done. But until next time, Randy fam, well until tomorrow, we're gonna see y'all later. Bye. Peace out.